Welcome to the introduction for F2. Our lesson objective is to learn how to build and analyze a trust bridge using F2. First, let's start the program. You can find it in the bridge design folder that you downloaded from the K-Drive. Next, go to the file menu, look for open and navigate to the McKenzie bridge design template. The next step is to activate a background grid and to select the snap option which forces the selection of our points to our predefined grid. The default of 1 inches by 1 inches is typically a good initial setup. Now let's create trust members. We simply select insert members and then we add members simply by clicking on our background grid and creating member by member until the truss as good as possible resembles our initial design drawing. Make sure to have truss members and nodes at the two loading points indicated by plus minus three inches from the symmetry line. We will need these nodes to apply the loads. At this point our structure is fully defined, so let's go back and add the dimensions. This goes easy simply by selecting start and end point and dragging the line out of the main picture so it doesn't abstract any useful information. Continue with the remaining members. This will allow us to verify the dimensions as well as to ensure that our truss is symmetric. The next step is to add support conditions. Let's start with the left node. For this node we want to fix the horizontal displacement as well as the vertical displacement. So these are displacement X and Y. By pressing apply support conditions we see uh, this node now gets completely fixed. The right node I want to add a sliding condition to prevent excessive constraint that means I free the horizontal displacement. Last but not least, we have to apply the external loads. In the template there is already a predefined load uh, named Engineering 101 Load. Select the nodes for which you want to apply them. You can select more than one node at once by holding down the Shift key when selecting and then simply apply the loads. Here we go. <coughs> After doing all this work it's time to save your project. Go to Files, Save As and give it a name other than the template. FTool also provides nice features to help us with documenting our work. Go to File, Export Screen and export it to the clipboard. That way you have it easily accessible from other programs such as Microsoft Word. Simply open Word and paste it in there by pressing Ctrl V. That's the first step. We have a beautiful picture of our structure with all the dimensions. Now let's go back to F tool and continue the definition. The important part here is we need to define what material our truss is made of. So I select the material button, now select all the members and we see there's a predefined material balser, which is our balser wood. Simply apply the current material to selected members and F-Tool is now aware of the material we were using. At that point we don't need all the dimension lines which could be easily deactivated in the display menu. The last step in our structural definition is the assignment of cross-section properties, that means the cross-sectional area. For this we select our members of interest, then we select 
the cross section here it will range times half inch and eventually apply the current selection here to the top three members. We proceed in a similar fashion by assigning the bottom members here selected and we want to use again the quarter times of one half inch cross sections and last but not least the diagonals. You can select multiple members at once by holding down the shift key when selecting uh, the second to the last member. Here I want to use just for the example a quarter times a quarter inch cross section so we assign that and by that we assigned cross section properties to all of our members. At that point don't forget to save the structural definition. Now eventually we are ready to perform the analysis and we are interested primarily in actual forces. Pressing the actual forces button computes all the forces and displays them. It is typically useful to adjust the scale so that the figure is not uselessly overloaded. You can also deactivate the grid at this point since it's just useless confusing information. The force graph shows the actual forces member by member. We see the red numbers representing the magnitude of force where a positive number represents tension and a negative number like here in this diagonal represents a compressive force. Let's go back and add this information to our documentation simply by going back to File Export Screen to the Clipboard, switch to our Word document and paste the force diagram with Ctrl V into our document. Now let's return to F Tool to have a look at the deformed shape. You select deformations by the top right button. We see the deformation and you can access individual member deformations simply by selecting that member. Nodal deformations are accessible by selecting a single node. Let's not forget to add the deformed structure to our documentation. So we select File, Export Screen to Clipboard, switch to our Word document and insert the deformed figure using Ctrl V. Don't forget to save your report. This is of course not your final report but only the figures for your report. At this point we completed the analysis of our truss in F-Tools and can exit F-Tool. Back to the folder in which we started F-Tool we find now our file example.fdl which contains all the structural information and example2.pos which contains all the results. From here we can move on to our bridge designed spreadsheet. Open the spreadsheet in Excel. Depending on your security settings you may have to enable active contents to allow the macro that reads the data using the update data button to operate properly. Navigate to your result file here example2.pos and confirm opening it. The spreadsheet will automatically populate information like member number, length and computed actual force. Using this information the spreadsheet will compute the estimated bearing capacity for your design. You may have to repeat that process a few times until you end up with a satisfying result.